Two solar eclipses coming, one an annular, ring of fire, one a total solar eclipse. I'm Five News Chief Meteorologist Matt Standards. We're going to be talking about the past of these solar eclipses and really focusing on the one coming this weekend, that ring of fire effect for the western U.S. and the southern U.S. We're going to show you the path and the timings of when this ring of fire is going to take place. And then we're also going to take a look at some states where we're just outside of the path, so we don't have maximum coverage, but we still get a good chunk of the sun taken out and what that's going to look like, kind of a, a visualization, you can say, of what's going to take place this Saturday. But the two differences are basically just the size of the moon. The size of the moon will be a little bit smaller for this Saturday, for this solar eclipse. The moon's a little bit farther from the Earth, so it's covering less of the sun. So you've got the sun. This is the moon sitting in front of it. But since it's a little bit smaller, you still get the outer ring of the sun. So you still get a lot of UV light coming out of this. But the moon is just slightly smaller, so you get this halo effect. Sky also turns pretty orange too. When you're looking at the total solar eclipse, the moon is a little bit bigger. So it's closer to the Earth. It's blocking more of the sun as it's passing in front of the sun. So we completely block the sun, but then you see the corona. And this just stretches across the sky. Really cool effect. We saw that back in 2017. We're going to see it again for 2024. Arkansas and Oklahoma, we're in the direct path, at least for parts of Arkansas and Oklahoma. That's coming up. That's the total solar eclipse. It's crazy that just a small difference in the moon can drastically change what you see with your eyes. All right, so for this annular eclipse, where is it going to take place? This black swath shows you the path where we're going to get that maximum coverage. And the red line is definitely maximum coverage where you can get the ring of fire effect for longer. You get away from the path. We're in the 75% range. You get three quarters of the sun taken out by the moon. It could get slightly dimmer in some of these locations, but you're still going to get a lot of light from the sun. Then we also have the 50% swath. So just half of the sun will be covered and then even less once you head into the northeast. But if you want to see that ring of fire effect, you've got to be in this dark swath here. Now let's talk about timing and where it's going to be. Uh, throughout the day on Saturday. So we have all times in central time. So if you're trying to wonder for Oregon, you got to go to Pacific time. So you got to knock two hours off. So we're starting there uh, closer to 9.15 in the morning, coming in just south of, uh, just near the Eugene area, south of Portland. Uh, and it's going to have this effect if you're in the black swath, and especially if you're right on this red line, where we have maximum uh, coverage and the maximum amount of time that you have the ring of fire effect. So let's go ahead and move this. I think I got this every five or 10 minutes or so. So we cross over the state of Oregon. We exit in the southeast corner of Oregon. Now we're in Nevada. So we're right over the Great Basin. Uh, Las Vegas way far to the south. So Las Vegas is not going to get the ring of fire effect. We'll have 85, 90% coverage though. So we're going to block out a lot of the sun's rays. Uh, here's Tahoe, Car Carson City. Here's Salt Lake coming into Utah after. 1125. So we pass through the state of Utah saying just south of the Salt Lake. We go right over the Four Corners region. If you guys have been there, cool location, you got the monument there. This is going to take place right over the Four Corners area coming into New Mexico. You're looking at time now, 1135. So a lot of us you know, are in uh, mountain time. So this would be 1035. So once again, all central time. So you've got to play this back. Just remember, uh, this is central time. This ring of fire coming across the state, going right over Albuquerque, coming into West Texas. 11.45 in the morning for Central Time. Now we're in the Central Time Zone. We continue to pass off to the south and east, uh, saying just south of uh, the San Antonio, Austin area, and then exiting uh, kind of near Corpus Christi, uh, maybe just north. Here's Houston. So Houston's not in the ring of fire effect. This, you're going to have to go farther south along the coast. This leaves the U.S. coastline going into the Gulf of Mexico right at noon Central Time. So if you live in some other states, for example, Arkansas and Oklahoma, when's our timing? Well, you've got to look to see where you're kind of perpendicular with the line. So if you kind of remember back closer to 1145, it's when it's coming into West Texas. That means that's also the maximum coverage time for most of Arkansas and Oklahoma. Let it be just, you know, 65, 75%, whatever your town is. The, the farther east you go, a little bit less coverage. The farther west you go more coverage. Uh, but this is all talking about the ring of fire uh, maximum coverage effect. The solar eclipse, though, can take place over over an hour, maybe even an hour and a half, depending on, on, on where you are. And But we're talking about specific maximum time. So Arkansas and Oklahoma, 1145. But uh, it's coming this weekend, coming up Saturday. So if you don't live on the path, 
What's it going to look like? We wanted to show you just a rough visualization. If you're in the ring of fire, you get this cool effect. If not, you will still get blue skies. It's not enough to completely block uh, the sun to, in order for us to get the orange effect, but across Arkansas and Oklahoma, you see the percentages. This is just rough. Anywhere between 60-ish to 70 percent coverage in the state, 70-ish closer to the state line, 60-ish closer to uh, Mississippi River you get this chunk taken out. It's gonna be kind of on the, the right-hand side of the sun, if you could say that, uh, as the, the sun is moving up in the sky, the moon kind of passes this way. Uh, so we'll be watching that, almost looking like a crescent moon uh, there. In Oklahoma, 70 to 80% chance, or a coverage for the sun being taken out by the moon. So you still get a lot of light, and if you want to see this, you still have to put the solar glasses on. You still have to put the solar glasses on for the ring of fire. The only time you can take solar glasses off is that total solar eclipse that we are talking about earlier. This time, any American, you've got to keep the glasses on because even this can hurt your eyes. This is enough light uh, to burn those retinas. So 60, 70, 80 percent chances. And this is not just for Arkansas and Oklahoma. If you live maybe in Kansas, maybe you live in parts of California or Washington or even uh, Idaho, you're going to want to see this. If you've got the solar glasses, you'll see a chunk taken out. Ring of fire, though, from Oregon to Texas.